Hey guys, we just got the call that we've been waiting for. For all of those that you've been following us, you know we've been working on this new delivery truck. It's a 1951 Chevy. Now, we started with a 1947, so we started with the blue truck, ended up with the red truck, and together we've made one. So Austin just called. We're gonna head over to the rod shop and see what he's done, but it's plated, safety, ready to go on the road. So we're gonna go pick that up. So let's see what we got. Man, I'll tell you, I am excited about picking up this truck. It's been a bit of a process. I thought about it a long time ago, something I kind of always wanted to do. We hunted all over the place for the right truck thought we had the right truck. That's why we bought the blue one. And as we had to find who was going to help with the restoration and the renovation project of it, we went through a few people and we lucked into finding Austin. It's the first guy that actually came in had a really good solid look at the truck, like climbed underneath it, knocked around on it. I felt very confident after he was there about what we were going to end up doing with it. And even after all that, as we got into the blue truck, there was some good and then there was some very bad. So then we had to make a decision. Either put a ton of more money into the blue truck or try to find another donor truck. And then luckily enough, Buddy Les Kroger from Saskatchewan, his next door neighbor literally had this red truck. So we made a phone call and had the red truck shipped here. We took all the good stuff off the blue truck, married it up with the red truck. All in all, I think we're, uh, I think we're in pretty good shape. So I'm super, super stoked to see what we're gonna use for our, for our delivery vehicle through the summer months. So let's go see what we got. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. It's done. It's done. Ready Finally. Safety on the road. On the road, Holy ready to go. Smokes, man. It turned out good, eh? Yeah, I love it. I did. Uh, I did put you in a bit of a jackpot when we started with that blue one, but I didn't know. That's why I came to you. Yeah, and now you do right. know. And now, now you're know. way better off than you would have ever been with that blue truck. Yeah. Stole the grill from the blue truck. Yeah. And the bumper from the blue truck. Yeah. Headlight rings. Yes. And headlights. Okay. And that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> Big aluminum rad, all aluminum 5.3, L33 out of like a 05 GMC pickup truck. Okay. Vortec Max. Yeah. With a 4L60. 4L60 is the transmission. Okay. Automatic transmission. Yeah. Electric fans. Super cool stainless rad hoses. How hard was it to get this motor in to here? Did it go in? Not too good? bad. Not okay. too bad at all. There's a surprising amount of room in these, even though they came with an inline six. And so this job when we got it had the rebuilt inline six right yeah on a nice factory chassis on a nice factory chassis but nobody wants to drive around in the 50s right so now we're on like a 96 ish s10 chassis yeah that was sandblasted powder coated and stretched to fit this body wow wow that's cool you wanted to put on headers which i don't even know what those yeah. Mean? Yeah. And then stainless headers, just okay. to make it sound a little better. Okay. True duels, Magnaflow mufflers from Mike Cattell at GT Custom Exhaust. Right. So it sounds wicked. Cool. Tires. Wheels and tires. Wheels and tires, right on. And that was the biggest save from that blue truck, if you ask me, because there was a lot of money in wide whites like that. Okay. Well, inside, 
Do, new gauges, new, new digital gauges. gauges. Everything's digital. See parking brake from the factory. Okay. Power brakes, electronic gas pedal, all the Fair signals enough. and everything. You know, even though we worked on it for like six months straight after that exhaust, every time it starts, it gets me excited. Yeah. Because it just sounds perfect. It does sound cool. And then in the back, we got a posi. One of my buddies just happened to have laying around. Right. Custom drive shaft, lowered it. Got drop spindles, drop spring, locks in the rear, stock S10 style tank coming up through the bed here. And we'll be able to like put a load of stuff in here, right? Yeah. No problem. Put a load of bison, bison. in here. Like That's the whole idea, right? Yeah. This is going to be our delivery truck, so. Yeah. I'm super excited about that. Man. Call them bison straight to Toronto. Yeah. And then we had to like uh, put these wheel oh, wells yeah. in, right? We tubbed that out. And... Yeah, wheel wells from what truck where did you get those from? I think they're from a 66 yeah. C10, right? Yeah, 66 and we just narrowed them up. Yeah. So then we got lots of room if we put a wider tire on it. Updated the wipers so it's all electronic, no vacuum stuff. Right. And a full wiring harness from the headlights to the tail right lights. To the lights. So it's all as updated, as modern as it could possibly be. So this be. thing will be able to just drive it, drive yep. it, drive it. It's just like getting in an 05 Chevy, it just looks a lot cooler. Yeah. A yeah. lot cooler. This was a process for me because I didn't know what I was getting into, what kind of headaches, heartaches, oh, it was going to be easy or not. Yeah. And I do have to say you were fantastically held my hand and walked me through this process. It's Even a though there's process. it's a long process. It's a long, slow yeah. process. Man, you uh you guys really knocked it out of the park on this one. So thank you very much. Yeah. I'm just happy to see it on the road. Yeah, well I'm More excited to get it on the road too yeah. and get going with it. So super cool. So for you guys that are out there, this was a project for me, but Austin's Rod Shop's the place to go. If you need something done I think your, what's your uh, motto? If you can dream it, we can build it. If you can dream it, we can build it. Yeah, and yeah. you really did. You knocked this out of the park for us. Well, I'm sure we'll be back lots, but. <laughs> yeah, a constant world of upgrades once you get it driving. Yeah, but yeah, that's uh, how it works. we're super excited about getting this thing on the road and getting going, so. Yeah, thanks buddy, I really yes. appreciate it. Thank you. Okay.